Hi, and welcome back. In this quick start lesson, you'll learn how to hide and show passwords using Detect in Protopie. To make a sign-up experience fully functional, you'll need to know the basics of toggling passwords. We'll show you how Protopie makes this easy using a few input layers and the Detect trigger feature. Open the Pi file in Protopie Studio. Let's see what we've got here. Our input fields have already been prepped. The first name, last name, work email, and password are made into input layers. Let's do a quick preview. You'll see that all our input fields are interactive. Now to make this a full experience, we'll add the option to hide and show the password. To get started, select the password input layer. This will open up the keyboard options in the property panel. Under type, change it from text to text password. Any text entered into this field is encrypted and hidden from view. Let's preview our now encrypted password. We cover how to use the input layer in another lesson. Be sure to check it out. Protopie's input layer is so flexible that it allows you to customize the appearance of the input content from text, URL, email, number, text password, to number password. However, you may need to change the type of content on the go, which can be challenging in Protopie. But don't worry, we've got a simple workaround to give you what you need. Pro tip time! By duplicating the original password box and setting the duplicate's type to text, you can easily change the type of an input layer's content during an interaction. In case you want to show or hide the password, you can just alternate between displaying the two input boxes. Pretty simple, right? Let's try it. Select the password input layer and create a duplicate using command D on Mac or control D on Windows. Next, we need to change the type of the second input. Select the duplicated password input layer, go to keyboard options, then change the type from text password to text. And you're done. This now enables you to show the encrypted content when you first interact with the password box and then switch to the unencrypted content when desired. We don't want to get confused about which one has the hidden content, so let's rename our two input layers accordingly. Now, to ensure that both password boxes are in sync, we need to set up an interaction that updates the content of one box when the other is changed. Whenever we choose to switch between show and hide mode, we see the same password in both boxes. We'll be using the detect trigger so the password boxes stay in sync. The detect trigger is a powerful tool that listens to a layer property or a variable value and fires responses when there's a change. In this demo, we'll use it to immediately apply any changes made in the show password to the hide password text box, making sure that both boxes display the same password content. Let's get this in motion. Add a detect trigger to the hide password layers text property so that Protopie will detect any changes made to the content inside it. Then add a text response to the show password layer using the formula hide password dot text. This formula gets the text property of the hide password layer, which is the content in the box. By doing this, Protopie will automatically change the content and match the show and hide password layers whenever a change is detected. Repeat these steps for the show password layer to achieve a two-way sync. Move the boxes somewhere in the canvas so we can still easily see what's happening in each text box. Go ahead and preview. Type in the first password field. The two are in sync. Brilliant. Similarly, when you type in the second password field, the length of the content in the first box will grow even though it is hidden. The most critical part is working flawlessly. Now let's complete the interaction. In the layer panel, do you see the two groups, show and hide? These two groups represent the show and hide button. Currently, you can only see the show icon on the canvas, since we made the hide icon transparent. Remember that only one icon should be visible at a time. To show the password content, we need to add a tap trigger to the show icon. Then we set the hide password's layer opacity to zero, making it transparent. This reveals the show password layer beneath it. To switch the icons, 
we set the show icon's opacity to 0 and the hide icon's opacity to 100. To hide the password again, we can duplicate the tap trigger, change its target to the hide icon, and reverse the values of the opacity responses that come after it. Let's do one final preview. You've just made signing up easier with a password toggle feature. Easy as pie. See you in the next one.